Okay, so we encountered a little issue today with butter that we need everybody to be aware of or to tell us if this is normal or if we're eating aluminum and metals. So we are trying to make homemade cupcakes and we unwrapped the butter. It's the cheap little unsalted butter from Hy-Vee. We put it in a bowl. This is like a regular soup bowl, be my guess. We bring the soup bowl to the microwave, close the microwave. Oh, I'm so scared. I get tagged in videos like this all the time. People do something like this, they jump to the conclusion that there's aluminum in butter or whatever it is. And then I get tagged and people ask me to either debunk it or explain it, but I always have more questions. I need to know more about this before I can either debunk it or explain it. And this video is excellent because they actually tested variables to see, hey, is it actually the butter? Let's take a look. Okay, so I thought maybe this bowl is not microwavable safe. So then we take it out. Um, we're gonna transport it into another bowl. This is like a regular microwavable bowl, reusable bowl. Oh. Same stick of butter. Okay, so it's in the microwave. Yep, same stick of butter. Okay, in the microwave. Again, why? All right, so they tested a variable. So now we know that it is not the bowl, but we still don't know for sure if it is the butter. So let's test another variable. Just for you smart Alex who are like, well, maybe it's something that blah, 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 your microwave's broke. We're gonna put this in the microwave, our $5 rice for our potato greens, put it in there. What do you, oh, oh no, it's the microwave. Okay. Now so they test another variable by taking the butter out of the equation and it still does it. So clearly it is the microwave. I love this because they could have just stopped at the butter, posted it on here, told everybody that there's aluminum or whatever else in the butter. And then there would have been widespread panic. I would have been getting tagged in it, asked what's going on. And I love this. They use a scientific method, change one var variable at a time, and they determine that it was the microwave and not the butter. This is great. Let's do more of this on social media instead of jumping to conclusions. And if you come across a video that's jumping to a conclusion and you don't have all the information, just understand that you don't have all the information and the conclusion that they are stating might not be the case. I just love how they went through this whole process. That's science.